This is the pit. This is the hole in the ground where enslaved Africans gathered to keep themselves whole, grasping tightly to the roots of their heritage through food. This is the warmth of souls laid bare. This is where barbecue was made anew. Where black pit masters brought the sauce to their Sunday dinners, and even the toughest meats could be made tender. This is the pit. And its spirit and traditions were carried to every farm, every yard, every block, every joint, and every city. No storefronts needed to serve the appetite of the community, just feeding families and friends and feasting on word of mouth. That girl was loaded over there. That's your mouth. <laughs> At this pit, side hustles got serious. Black businesses built, neighborhoods gathered. And as the modern story of barbecue only grows, remember all the black pit masters who helped write it. Oh, baby, you're so cute. So as we stoke the embers of barbecue history, we invite the next generation of entrepreneurs to blaze their own trail. Because it's only by investing in the future that we'll preserve the past that we preserve the pit. Celebration. Grab your cups, grab your favorite liquor. What's going on, guys? Of course, you see me, Shigai Eddie Wright, and you've heard the news by this point in time. I stand here today, a selectee of the Kingsford Preserve the Pit grant. We did not win the fellowship program seat, but we are very happy and we'd like to say thank you to the Kingsford Company for selecting us as a grant selectee for the Preserve the Pit program. Big shouts out to Kingsford for this amazing opportunity and putting even more highlight on black pit masters across America, especially in the South. Being a pit master is something I hold near and dear in my heart. In my opinion, pit mastering is just as important as the DJ and the MC of the party decorator at every major event. With the right food, your good time is secure. The pit master you choose is the one who sets the tempo for that experience. I had no idea I would be selected when I put in that application. For those who have been with me on this journey, who've been tuned into the YouTube and everything else that we've done, you've seen what we've been through, you've seen the growth. No one knew that this opportunity would come at this point in time. So I always say I'm very thankful, but for this opportunity, I am extremely grateful and thankful. Kingsford's been an African-American community for a very long time when it comes to charcoal. And I feel it's a great thing for them to put this type of emphasis highlighting pit masters and the importance of them. Every pit master in every area across the nation, even from top to bottom of our state, provides a different thing. Whether it's a great conversation to go with the meal, a different type of smoke, a different type of presentation. Every pit master has his own flair that he calls his own, that he gives each and every time he delivers a meal. And that's what I fell in love with each and every time I fire up my pits and go to work. Giving people amazing barbecue, putting smiles on faces and getting amazing reactions. It's just the icing on the cake to the very long days that we have when we cook the way we cook. Low and slow, baby. I've said it once and I most definitely say it again today. Everything tastes better in Mississippi. And to that, I salute each and every person that puts together a good meal, whether it's for family, friends, or special occasions. You're putting a little bit of you in every meal and that love is untouchable. So what am I gonna do with this grant? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is take a vacation. I put in a lot of hours and a lot of people who watch me put in a lot of hours and I think it's time for me to take a little time to myself and just relax and enjoy the fruits of the labor that I put in. But um, after that, there's a lot we got coming down the line. I'm here to announce today, apparel. They say everything's bigger in Texas. To that, I say barbecue is better in Mississippi. And that's one of our first signature shirts that we'll be releasing here before summer begins. A few different styles, one standard slope. Barbecue is better in Mississippi. We stand by that. Also, touched on it earlier, so many people sweeping from the top to bottom of this state, from so many cultures, providing amazing meals, day in, day out, families, special occasions. To that, we want to salute you and let everybody know 
everything tastes better in Mississippi. We'll also have aprons, probably some wristbands, headbands. We'll have a variety of different things coming down the pipeline. We're also going to be getting to a lot of fundraising, special events, concerts, blues shows, mud trails. We're going to be in as many places as we can be safely and efficient, providing you amazing barbecue. We've also been working on our first signature blend seasoning. It's been in test for the past several months. And we're finally to the point where we're gonna be bottling it and bringing it to the public hand to hand by summer. Make sure you follow all of our social media platforms and be on the lookout for the new release date of The Right Rub. All of these items and more will be available on our website, adirightbbq.com, where you can find our menu, our catering menu, and apparel and other things. To everyone who supported me, I say thank you. To everyone who I will meet as time goes on, I welcome you to experience amazing barbecue the right way. And lastly, once again, thank you Kingsford, thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for making me a selectee of the Preserve the Pit program. Roll smoke.